the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we I want to switch gears, have a little fun with this, you know, talk about some upcoming fights and get a little bit of your uh, opinions and, and, and your thoughts. And um, So the first one. Errol Spence versus Mikey Garcia. I see your face is like making all type of. Well, why that? Why are you making that face? What do you think about that fight? It's a very, <laughs> very, very, very hard fight. Just because I'm a big fan of both. Just, you know, a, a little more on Mikey's side, just because me and him, we, we share that same pride, that Mexican pride. And just we have that. Hard to explain, but it's just that. that He's like, um, you know, like, just that same blood, that Mexican blood that runs through us. But then Earl Spence too, like, if it, if it wasn't for, you know, that little Mexican pride, I'm also, I'm also I, I just like to be a re realistic with everything. Earl Spence is very talented. He's, he's just on another, another level to me. And they're both two of my current top five, you could say, my top five favorite fighters now. So just knowing that they're facing each other, <laughs> I don't want to say who who's in, has uh, more of the edge, but it's going to be a very interesting fight, and I can't wait to that day. If, if Mikey Garcia would happen to beat Errol Spence, would you make him pound for pound on 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 the list of all these other guys? That's a pretty big jump. He's going up yeah. like multiple weight classes, and he's fighting an awfully big welterweight. I believe so. To me, to me, he would personally like he would like every person below that weight category. He he's done. He's beaten. And he's won titles and all those multiple weight classes below. So I feel like if he beats Earl Spence, which is a top dog at that weight, I, he deserves it. He deserves to be a pound for pound. What would you say if Mikey Garcia fought Lomachenko? What would you say about that? Do you think Mikey can beat Lomachenko? That's another hard one. Just because another one, like Lomachenko, he's on my top five as well. You could say top three, honestly, Lomachenko. Just because I admire his style too. Very, very different compared to other fighters, but if I were to see that fight, honestly, I would probably have to edge with Mikey. Okay. Not Mikey on that one. Now, we can switch from the pride, because I know it's like, you're, you're, you're like, man, my, my, own, <laughs> my own country, man. Um, let's go with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. You, I'm sure you've seen the first yes, one. Yes. Um, there's rumor of a rematch coming up. Well, not even a rumor. I think they're working on it. Mm -hmm. How do you see the rematch playing out in this one? Any difference? Or do you have a distinct winner going to this one? Honestly, the first one, I was, I was sh shocked just knowing that... My personal opinion, I feel like the decision should have went the other way. But Fury, they won both of them, honestly, they both fought their behinds off. Like that was, a, it was a great fight, especially for heavyweights too. It was a very active, very a lot of punches thrown, and it was, it was a fight. That's all I can say. Um, my hats off to both of them. But as far as a rematch, I believe it'll probably go more or less the same way. But I believe Fury, like he knows more or less what to do now this time. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, Wilder's not going to give up his title like that. So I feel like it's going to be more or less the same way. But it's just going to be a little bit slightly more towards Fury in, in, in my head if I picture it that way. So I feel like Fury would win the decision at this time, this time go around. Okay, now let's bring in another heavyweight fight. Big Baby Miller, Anthony Joshua. You know Big Baby Miller. What's your thoughts on that? That's a big baby, the big bro right there. There's the fight. Well, if I could just speak to him, this is the fight you've been you've been working your whole career for, bro. Like you done demolished everybody in your path. Now it's time for to get what you wanted to get. This is the, the big dog, the main man. Like just take the training serious. Like, you gotta get you gotta have tunnel vision. And I, I believe in his abilities. I know what he can do. And I feel like if Big Baby just stay focused, like he always has been, I believe he could take it. I believe he could do it. I, I know in my heart, I seen him train. I seen him bust his, his behind in training. He works super hard. So I know if he just dedicates himself from now until the day of the fight, 
I believe I believe he's gonna be able to shock the world. You know, and I, I won't be surprised if he does. With you know the perception, because people call you know the big baby. You know, we just saw Adam Kowalski fight. People call him as well the baby face, mm -hmm. and sure enough, he demolished Jared Washington mm -hmm. in like two two rounds. So with that, it would this be Anthony Joshua's toughest fight? Would you say because of maybe his work, uh, his workload, and his activity in the ring that we've seen in his fight? Is that going to be a very problematic that Anthony Joshua has never seen, or what, what's your honest opinion on? I like, yeah, I like being honest. As far as me, my worry and my honest worry about this fight is Big Baby being able, Jarrell being able to just take the crap from Anthony. That's it. I feel like once he's able to withstand a solid shot, and like he's still like, I right, that was it. I. My personal words, he would demolish him just like he did everybody else. Big Baby is the, if I think he is the most active heavyweight in the world. We've seen his output. We've seen how he's able to just mentally destroy any heavyweight that was put in front of him with three or four rounds. He's not hitting you hard, but he's constantly boom, 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 boom. And Anthony's gonna have to keep up with that. And especially in a, if Anthony hits and Big Baby still is able to take a shot and still boom, boom, boom. It's only a matter of time before you're like, what, like, what the hell? Like, I'm hitting this man with everything I have, and he, for an, an, an another plus, he's gonna have big baby's. A, he's a heavy man, heavy set man. He's gonna be. Those shots are gonna get to him, and I feel like it's gonna be a late, if a late, if not, if it's not a, a decision, it'll be a late round. Like that's it for me, just cause, like I said, it's hard to explain, but I do believe he has the talents he has the hard work and dedication to do what i, what I imagine right. so it's gonna be my last one i'm gonna mix it all up you know people have compared your styles with like canelo hispanic pride you're in new york and you're living out in new york canelo alvarez danny jacobs may 4th t-mobile arena unification the fight is going down your thoughts and shout out to danny <laughs> i've been knowing danny since i started and since Starrick City, uh, I started there when I was about seven, eight years old. And shout out to him. He's been he's been there supporting me, giving me words of advice, words of wisdom the whole time. I love Danny to death too. That's the big brother too. But just knowing he's fighting the uh, Canelo too. Just another side note. 2019, it didn't start great. I love all the fights. Um, great year. Yeah, and it just started. But. I just have I have to go with, with Danny on this one just because I believe I, like, I've been seeing Danny since the amateur days like I've seen him fight all these top guys demolishing them and I feel like he has the ability and he, he is going to show the ability that he is top dog at, at that weight division and yeah I won't be surprised if because uh, I feel like everyone's leaning a little more towards Alvarez just because he is the bigger fighter but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be going for with Danny that night just cuz yeah he is like that brother to me boxing brother and just cuz I know his abilities as well and I believe he's in shock world that night look I appreciate you giving us the time to give uh, to an interview with you can uh, for final words and social media you have anything to tell your fans and our viewers sure uh, next fight coming very soon for everybody that was there in attendance the last fight I hope I did you well I hope I made you proud I I worked the hardest I ever did. Um, right now, I'm getting ready to train, train right away for the second, uh, my next fight of the year, my second fight of the year. So, I promise from now on, I'm gonna look like my last fight and, and even better. I'm gonna keep progressing from now on because I feel like I'm at a state in my career where it's that's it. It's time, it's time to go up, and that's the only way we're gonna go. So, just expect me getting way better each and every fight. And as far as social medias, uh, follow my Instagram. It's at Sunset's Own, S-U-N-S-E-T-S-O-W-N. That's my main source that I use. And also my Facebook is just Julian Sosa. And uh, that's about all. But I'm, I'm coming strong. Like, I got, I, got, I got a point to prove. I got a neighborhood behind my back that's going to support me. Sunset Park, shout out to Sunset Park. And I got a family to make proud. And best believe, I'm going to do it. Whoever is gonna be on the opposite side of the opposite side of the ring of me, 
I'm gonna do my best to just demolish and get them out the way and get come out come home with the W. And that that's what I'm gonna say. Just watch my work. 2019. Awesome, appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace